I'm going to share with you on how to test your Flutter apps wirelessly. So let's get started. So I'm going to show you on how to test your Flutter app wirelessly without dropping your laptop. So let's move on. All right, so let's start off with just a normal Hello World Flutter project or the default counter app project. And what you are going to do is you are going to first connect your mobile phone or your Android phone to your laptop or your Flutter machine. So once it's connected, you could see the name of your Android phone. So for mine, if so, if you look closely at the bottom right, you could see that your Android phone has been connected to your VS Code. So my Android phone is the model of Mi Max 2. So once it's connected, then we are going to use this thing called ADB or Android Debug Bridge. So what this ADB is, is a versatile command line tool that lets you communicate with your device. And then at the same time, we are going to use this thing called the TCP or TCP IP. And what this TCP IP, so you have the ADB command line tool, you're going to connect your phone using the TCP IP protocol or the transmission control protocol. So before we use the ADB and with the TCP IP, make sure you have your homebrew installed inside your machine. So for Mac machine, you have homebrew. And once you have homebrew, you need to install the ADB. So how do you install the ADB? So to install ADB, you will use this command, brew cask install Android platform tools. And then once you install this Android platform tools using brew, then you're able to use the ADB. Now if you were to go back to VS Code, then in your terminal, you can type in ADB devices, press enter. So you can see the list of devices attached, which is your phone over here. So the next thing is we are going to, we are going to use the ADB TCP. We're going to use the ADB TCP IP. So if you have USB access to your phone and then what you can do is you can set up the port 555. So let's do that. So let's type in ADB TCP IP and enter 5555 and now you have set the port 555 the next thing is that we want to connect your IP address of your phone which is this one to the port that we have connected in our ADB be sure to replace this 19.2 or IP address to the actual assigned IP address to your device so in order for you to get your IP address you probably have to go to the settings and then after that, you probably can type in or search the word IP or IP address. And then you'll see your IP address over there. So my IP address is 192.168.1.1. So now let's go back to Stack Overflow. We can copy this, go back to VS Code, and then let's paste this over here. So now we are going to put in our IP address of our phone. So my phone is 192.168.1.1 and then our port is 555. It will say that it's connected to 192.168.1155. So if you were to disconnect your phone, then you could see that your device over here still remain the same. So that means our ADB has been connected to our Android phone. So now let's run this whole app with our phone wirelessly. All right, and that works. So that's very simple. So how about iPhone? So they still have the issue where it doesn't support the iOS devices yet. Please comment down below if you see that you're able to connect your iPhone to your Flutter code. So we will still wait for it to be officially released. And once that's done, then I will have another video for you guys. So that's about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want some more of this kind of video, subscribe down below. And comment down if you have figured out on how to actually connect your Flutter app with an iOS iPhone wirelessly because I can't figure it out. So that's it. Stay safe and all the best. Bye.